at Kabune, uh, which is at the point of uh, Mud Bay. Uh, this is where, this is the place where Dr. Bromilo landed after his landing at Dovo. He landed here in August in 1891. And these people are reenacting that? Uh, these people are just reenacting the whole show of the first landing. Uh, and at the moment, the landing is over and the visitors are taken to the church right, while the organizers are getting ready to get across to Wailagi. We'll go across now to Wailagi and wait for the visitors to come across.
Venga, venga, aquí en la bola, 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 aquí en la bola, 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 bola,
Pero no pa uya mata ya. Na pudoan pa ide adibidiana ka di pagulasen na pasuwa na kanitana. Biya biya ma ilure. Pero wile na pa pali uwe ni boyo. Ya tede pa ide na ngulo kantan. Biya ma ilure.
right of him, the third right is left to left.
natunao bomatuyega seroi rasa e erasiega sitauya ga sibiamia tutadurana ta ataona sagarina hundred here ataona sagarina lai bobo natunao tubunao sinonona aile Bromilawa, Tasidia, Manuna, Sisagari, Atawana, Sagari, Nasegoinui, Obaboma, Batua, Kondina, Umema, Batua, Imu, Eberoina, Imuroina, Waiwaina, Elega Taba, Elega Tama, Batua, Taguinui, Atawana, Sagari, Nataguinui, Andrea, Manuna, Elega, Gete Gogama, Tubumao, Tasimao, Tasidia, Siluasina, Bromilawa, Geti, amena, na wapo wa asau, ta elega sagari na tarangu inuwe, tauna, tuburi ya lai bobo, ta tasidia, brobloa, manuna, lai bobo na tunao, etauruya, siai, ta wad. This man is Mr. Randall's son. Uh, Mr. Randall was around here in about six years of my life. And, uh, I can remember the name. <laughs>
That's Robert Randles, known as Bobby at the time. He's just showing the people the photographs of the time when his father was here. What years? 1930. Yeah, 1930s. So that's 50 years from 50 years ago. What Lira Goodwin, uh, John Goodwin, my husband, myself and our son, 15 months, came to Wailagi in 1949. We were the first white missionaries here after the war years. Things were di very different then. I'm just amazed at the progress that has been made. There was no white ner Australian nurse or teacher. We had to look after the school, mostly a few older boys. Papua nurses did the medical work. Uh, we were happy here that uh, we, uh, my husband was appointed to Kirawina. So we were here until Synod 1949. And at Synod 1949, my husband John Goodwin and Fred Kemp were ordained at the Synod. Mm. Right? Thank you very much. Good. I said, better flip your finger. Uh, my name is Eric, Eric Lawson and I came to Salama with my wife and 10 month old son back in 1964 and 66 to six, uh, 65 to 67 uh, served over at Kalo Kalo so I had contacts here at Wailagi and after furlough was at Warrawada for 12 months and then came back again to Salama for the last two years. It's great to be here. Yeah. I'm Marion Sedgwick, presently working at Salama I didn't come to Salama in 1982, I came to Milne Bay in 1982, and I taught this young lady who's now in charge here, uh, Florida. and then when I came to Salama, I taught this young lady, Janet, Nurse Janet, from Russell. So, uh, I'm visiting my eight students at this moment. Mm, thank you. And I thought, looking around, that there was a very good community spirit. Anyway, did people? Enjoy the show? Oh my word, we did! <laughs> the dancing, the singing, the speeches, the food <laughs> it was all very good and very exciting. Yeah. Yes. And then coming across here to yeah. Wailagi, and then there was another big welcome. So it's been wonderful. Yeah, and see right. old students again. <laughs> I'm trying.
When I was here in 1966 and to 1967, I was Pat Milray, so a lot of people here know me as Miss Milray. But in December 1976, in Brisbane, I married Vic Riddle, so now I'm Pat Riddle. And coming back here after all of those years has been very wonderful and very exciting. We're very grateful to God that we were able to come and to meet with the people. It's been a very an experience that really touches you deep down, a, a truly spiritual experience. And for Vic coming for the first time, what's it like for you? Truly spiritual experience. <laughs> and to have so many boys, and men and women, come and say, "You were my teacher." That's just a fantastic feeling to be able to talk to people again, like Polycarp and John and so many others, Meggie Lay, who was our cook when I was here, so many people. Mm. It's Thank you very much. I think our lives would have been the poorer if we hadn't been able to come. This old man's name is Oberi Kanaman. He was a student of uh, Mr. Randall. Mr. Randall. Uh, Mr. Randall's son just came and visited him a while ago. He, this old man said that he was very, very happy indeed to see Bob because Bob was a small boy here. When <coughs> Obedi Kanemale was a student, Obedi looked after uh, uh, Bob and his other uh, brother, Jack Randall. He looked after them. When their father does something or does the work, Obedi used to look after his two sons, Bob and Jack. One time they went to Dobu and they had to come back. Game, during games, Mr. Randall uh, started soccer uh, games here. Obedi was a goalkeeper in the soccer. So the first uh, soccer, was, soccer game was introduced here. This man and some of his friends who passed away were Mr. Randall's students and his soccer players. <laughs> it was way back in 1920s to 1930s. So he's one of the students of Mr. Randall. He said that he's very, very happy to see Bob Randall. <coughs> and he's still longing to see his other brother, Jack Randall. And he's also at the same time, he's very sad that the uh, first time Bob came to visit him. When he goes back to Australia, he might pass away. That's why he was very sad and he cried to see Bob. We are in the cemetery, Wailagi Cemetery. This area is known as Samurai. And the tomb that we are in, great, an inscription is of my late grandfather who died early this year on the 31st of January 1990. He was one of the early pastors of this area. This is the grave of a Tongan missionary by the name of Jonathan Meleke Honua. The tall tomb uh, monument is the grave monument of my late grandmother, Bailak Guninie, the wife of Joaf Guninie, one of the early missionaries who helped out with the spreading of the good news around Gurina Island. And that is the 
the grave of Joab Gunini, born in 1909, died in 1963. This area is the grave for the early missionaries. The first one is Tatufu of Samoa. The second one is Moletike of Fiji. The third one is Elaitia of Fiji. And the fourth one is not cemented yet, but inscripted on a stone out there, Inia of Fiji. I'm yeah, walking up to Wailagi for the church service. It's, it's going to be an open air service. These people are coming to church. every honor must be offered to our Lord today. For Lord, our God, has brought, has brought peacefulness, joyfulness, and he has freed us from our various background, and he has unified us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Welcome to the gospel today, because the gospel today is a free gospel Free good news for you and I. It costs nothing. God has given us freely. He says in John chapter 3 verse 16 that whosoever believes in him will not die but have a lasting life. Our Lord and Savior, written by the apostle or the disciple of Jesus called Matthew, recorded in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 29 let's listen to the word of jesus and this is what it says come to me all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads and i will give you rest take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me because i am gentle and humble in spirit and you will find rest Yes, you can say, why? What am I, Eguya? Oh, me, Egma, wow, Emiega. Egma, wow, Emiega, two target, Ega. Aramia, Imiami. Wow, me, Imiami. What am I, Eguya? Get a Yesu in an invitation, not in a bow, yow, yow, the manu. My water, Pakurua, Be, Hara, Wagu, Wagu. Spirit of the living 
happy to be here today to talk to you for a little while, especially to the boys and girls, the young people. And I'd like to tell you a story about an old man, a very kind man, who decided to make a kite. Now, boys and girls, do you know what a kite is? A kite? What do you do with a kite? What does a kite do? When you play with a kite, what do you do with it? That's right, it flies in the air. Ebuna ties in a buana nunuana be doe, bobuana iguinuena be i kaitaia. Bobuana? And the man made that beautiful kite and he took it to the park, to a place where all the people go, and some children saw it. And the children came to him and they play he let them play with the kite. Anakwari Kakwari born a by Dorka number one hundred bear ninety one. Kwali Kwali by Dorka one hundred bear ninety one. Yeshu givorna velem wina. Wadega. Born a by Dorka. Kanamidi. Kekakwari. I bring you a message of love and peace from the Uniting Church in Australia. Most of us were here were Methodists, I think, and most of you here were Methodists, but we are all now united or uniting church. A united church in Papua New Guinea and uniting church in Australia. The church in Australia <coughs> looks at the church in Papua New Guinea mm. with great love and a great and deep affection for the work that the spirit of 
the Lord Jesus Christ has done. It also looks with great delight and, and, and satisfaction at the way the church carries on its witness here among the people of Papua New Guinea. I have a, a special connection, I suppose, with this centenary celebration in that I was present at the 50-year celebration in 1941. I was only six years old, and I don't really remember much of it. But I feel a, a deep and personal relationship with all you folk here and for the work that the church has done and continues to do in this beautiful land. So the church, the Uniting Church in Australia, sends its greetings of love and peace and unity, which we would, we would like you to accept on, as representatives of that church. Thank you. Oh, yeah.
eto siana manu nige manu eto siana yao bade ine e boya dai te e dai aga wari dobu number 63 wari get there that the doctor bromelo e nega yesu i bao bao sai to ase yada guai yesu ina ona yada muri anai in a wow, ya no no, ta ya muri muri sai. Yesu ya no no na ena ya da wai. Ya ya da tatoro me wari get that wai. Blue please ira kila. Yesu ya no no centenary, the gospel that has come to our region way back in 1891 has come up 
all through these stages until to this very day. The last song or the last hymn which we have sung, as it says in Dobu, Muri Muri, Yesu Ya Muria, follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. This particular saying, Ona Getei, Muri Muri, Yesu Ya Muria, Ananuanua Aile, Ebona, Niatu, Yawasina, Yeboyaena, Ebona, Niatu, Anarotona, Enaya, Athena Enaya, Ita Ailena, Yesu Keriso, Ina Boboana, Teterina Tetera Boboana, Ina Guinua, Enaya, Ina Gemaira Enaya, Da Enega Yawasina, Isau Gerasena, Da Ina Ona, Ta Ina Nuanuao, Isaudia, Iguai, Gete, Yada Muria. We just finished our opening service. The moment we are having a farewell lunch, straight after this lunch we have our speeches before the party departs. So I'd like you to salam. Everywhere, God, tell it on the mountain. That 
Jesus Christ is Kaiwa gani 
to be. I know in the Bible In a common zone, as we have seen against Samuel, but we want to give our hearts out and uh, then this particular day.
written the song. <laughs> Okay, Bobo Arawasai, I would like you to listen very carefully because I don't know. Bobo, listen very carefully. Bye, baby. Our friend Kim, I hope we a good shaking with our mothers. We have Dr. Robert Rudd. Remember, this lady says a very good song to sing for you. So, come on, tune up yourself. This is a farewell song. <laughs> Their farewell song, not my farewell song. <laughs>
Na iko bobo mu asimana ko simao una jin church e diega. Ta gete tu ga wate abo ama. Unia seket group. Ima ona. Na ima ona ro kam jok na ima obo boma. Wate ara simana e mi. Are they going to sing, are they? Yeah. I didn't get the photo. The photo of the one lady community school. Too dark now. <laughs> Do they have a mean, mean fellowship here? Yes, but not existing. Right. Just wondered. <laughs> but do you go and sing with them, do you? <coughs> Still looking alright. Not playing. Can't film. <laughs> 